Hello everyone, it's Bram Badaham and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition episode 27. In the last episode, we finished some more Astrarium puzzles here in the Storm Coast, which led us to this magnificent looking cave where we found our new staff that we are wearing at the moment with a nice nice little spearhead I guess and a and a hilt or a grip really cool and we found a bow um, but we the only rogue that we have right now is Varric and he has one weapon that he can use which is Bianca oh my god mage oh my god bear Shit, there's more guys. Doing good here, peoples. Doing good. And now, let's see, there is barely anything left here, I guess, on the storm coast. Except, well, maybe, I don't know if this area can be explored as well, but I don't think we have any real markers left on here. I guess it's kind of a small area in that sense. So let's go back and let's go to Haven. Because we have to sell a lot of our junk. Of weapons that we don't really need. And we can assign some more operations on the war table. That's something I haven't really been doing consistently. Because those operations take real life time. The gathering coin operation most efficiently executed by Joseph Bean in 42 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, ideally, you would like return to your war table every 42 minutes then. But I just, I don't know, I keep... keep <laughs> I, I guess I keep going or something in these uh, areas that I'm exploring. It is just so good looking and all. And, it's brilliant. I guess since it has been quite some time since we talked to our companions, it might not be a bad thing to do that in a second. I did not see good it's amazing. Look at this how smooth the game runs all of a sudden. Something said about the apothecary? Oh, yeah, we have some recipes for him. The one that we found in a magician's hut. Brilliant. So, Inquisition perks. That must be the... Yeah, the inventory upgrade. Must be. My scouts are posted on the ridges in case there's any trouble. Oh. Okay. Alrighty, so it seems that we gather power much more easily than Inquisition perks. 
which may be a bit of a shame. Gather yeah, coin is ready. She got 118 gold for us. Which I don't really have a feel for the currency yet. I don't really pay attention. Okay, Commander Cullen. With the watchtowers built, we've had advance warning of demon and bandit attacks. The area is safer for both refugees and the farmers. Much appreciated, sir. It's good to know that the Inquisition is willing to put the time to help these people. Corporal Veil. Vale. That's good. We can go to Storm Coast. We completed this already. We completed that, so we can do more coin missions here. But what about Orle? We went here already. We can go to Valverio, maybe, which is a. I guess we have to go there for the main quest. But for now, at least send Josephine over here again. Let us begin. You might as well gather some coin. I wonder if there is any mechanic that I'm missing relating to Inquisition perks. I think we only had three so far. Let's see, let's talk to some people. Greetings, Herald of Andrafte. No, I still don't have anything to say. Farewell, revered mother. Farewell. But what I do know from other Bioware games is that it might not be a ah, bad idea. May I have a moment? See? To catch up with uh, with your companions or advisors or stuff. Josephine. Yes, Ambassador? I'd like to discuss your parents. Well, my parents? We can romance her? Uh, nah, let's not romance her. Certainly. What would you like to know? I'd like to dispatch a courier asking the bands of House Trevelyan to align themselves with us. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? Uh... Did we put in if we were noble or not? Let's see. Um... Yes, they are religious. They trust me. If that's what you want, I'll send a letter to my family. They'll respect the request if it comes from me. Wonderful. That will save time. Valroyo has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? You are from Ostwick. Orlesian nobles consider the Free Marches somewhat... quaint. How dare they! No, let's see. <laughs> They're not scared that I'm a mage. Even though I'm a mage, that doesn't give them pause. They're not an unfamiliar sight. Mages from noble families are given more leeway. Besides, Ostwick Circle had a reputation for being rather sedate. Okay, so... I went home every now and then. My parents made arrangements. I visited home from time to time. What parent wouldn't want to prevent their child from growing into a stranger? It must have soured your relations with the Templars. Well, the money surely helped. Templars in Ostwick's circle were as discreet as they were well paid. They're fortunate they did not receive a seeker. Lady Cassandra would not ignore an extra payroll. <laughs> there must be things you miss about the circle here in the mountains. I hope you don't find the living conditions in Haven too drastic for someone of your station. Well, she surely is a chatty. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, how do you find it? This can't be what you're accustomed to, Ambassador. One adjusts. I stay busy. It helps take my mind from our surroundings. And the cold. And the wildlife. And the lack of civilization for miles around. <laughs> <sighs> Why anyone lived here before we found Andras' ashes, I Cannot imagine. Well, I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Haven's more than livable. Really? If that is how you feel, I'm pleased to hear it. Until next time, my lady. Alrighty. So, some chatter with Josephine. And now let's give her some of Hello? our... Hello? Can I help you with something? Uh, oh, goodbye. I'll speak with you later. Travel safely. We actually have to do this. We will study that. 
Only bowstring? No, we have way more things. If you find anything, please bring it in. 150 influence. Please tell me if you find something. Huh? Only a bowstring? I thought we had way more. There we go. See? There we go. Took a bit of time. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is our, our room, I guess. Or something. Uh, Lady Giselle didn't, or Mother Giselle. Come to me, child. Didn't and really I have to say anything. Let's catch up with Cutler. In my arms lies eternity. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Oh, okay. No chat with Cullen. Then, as we did with Josephine. What about Liliana? There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. So apparently, Farrier had no barrier. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hey, so this is another... Hmm, a new dialogue wheel. Do you have to kill him? Or... Encourage her. Yeah, do it. Glad to see traitors are dealt with quickly. <laughs> we must do whatever it takes to protect our interests. I am pleased that you agree. Let's see. You care a great deal. It's good to know that protecting the Inquisition is a priority for you. Of course. I do not neglect my responsibilities. We will make the Inquisition a force to fear. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Not even a nice little chat, Liliana. Oh, teleporting. Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Let's see. Let's uh, hear something about Liliana. So you are Sister or Divine Justinius' left hand. They called you the left hand of the Divine. That they did. What of it? Oh, just interested. Why don't you join my party? I could use the left hand of the Divine at my side out there. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bound me. Do you see? I guess. So, why start an Inquisition? What is the point of an Inquisition? Justinia would have started the Inquisition if the Divine Conclave failed to restore peace. She hoped that, with enough support, we could challenge the very tenets of the Chantry. She wanted the Chantry to treat the mages fairly. But sometimes I wonder, why stop at mages? The Chantry has committed many injustices. If we're going to change it, why not change the whole thing? <sighs> it's just a thought. None of this will be possible if we fail. I'm sorry she died. I'm sorry she didn't live to see the Inquisition. So am I. So, what's the left hand? What exactly does the left hand of the Divine do? A Divine always has enemies. And Justinia had more than most. I protected her. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats, and I dealt with them. Sounds like a spy master. So you were her spy master too? I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved through more delicate means. <laughs> so what about Justinia? I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. 
Alright. Is that everything we can... We more than friends? Or is there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers? Typical. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, yes, it was more than friendship. How did you two meet? How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I oh. was at my lowest. Broken. Lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. Oh, I think this relates to the Liliana song DLC from Origins. Where, remember maybe from if you watched my playthrough of that, where we were thrown into a well or something, and then someone just lowered a key, like, here, escape. I think that was Dorothea. Not mistaken. We'll talk more later. Already. It's sad that you don't have uh, approval with uh, your advisors, it seems. Although there was a romance option just now with um, Josephine. So maybe that has something to do with uh, with an affection or with um, what do you call it? Relationships. So, Mr. Adan. You're back. And in one piece. Yeah, we already had this conversation. How are things? How are your people holding up? We've Oops. got Mother Giselle lending a hand. For the ones that need comforting more than actual healing, she's a rock Goodbye. in fast water. Farewell. So, upgrade potions. Let's see. Because we have some sort of recipe, right? Healing potion. Oh, we have the Prophet's Laurel, but we only have one. Regeneration potion. That costs us our royal elf root. And Lyrium potion. Uh. Uh. Yeah, why not? Increased duration. No. These tonics. Unknown, unknown. Here we go. This is the one that we found. Applies a plus 13 damage bonus for 20 seconds. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's not go into that yet. Grenades. I will upgrade a grenade for you. Alrighty. Well, let's go then. I thought we had to give him a recipe or something. Solus, buddy. Greetings. Oh, there's nothing you want to talk about? Already. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I thought that was the usual, uh, like, once you finish a couple of quests, they would start talking about something. Once we were. Oh, that's funny. Going into the tavern every once and again. They sing new songs. They're singing Maiden. Already? Oh, you can pause the video and read it. Seems like a long codex. Alrighty, Varric, maybe? Got a anything to say? Need something? Hawk. No. Carry on. Hmm. I thought there would be more, more stuff. Well, I'll speed this up with uh, Segret. Don't know how it keeps breaking. Okay. Well, we have 59, uh, 51 out of 90 spaces well, filled at the moment, so we have room for f about 40 more, which is good. Let's catch up with Cassandra. 
It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? Let's not lie to her. The Circle of Magi at Ostwick. At least until the rebellion began. Yes, I suppose that would have required you to stay on the move. Tell me, do you consider the Free March as your home? Are you eager to go back? Eventually, perhaps. I might, once this is done. It will not be the same once you do. Oh. What about you? I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Romance, Cassandra? Just being friendly. No motivation beyond making things between us less... Antagonistic? Exactly. <laughs> as you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. All right. I'll let you get back to work. Okay, so we actually unlocked a codex through that. That's cool. And her approval, which is nice as well. We actually didn't explore the area around Haven too much yet. So much to explore. Now there is one thing. Uh, because here is a stable. And we can choose our mounts. So we have the Ferelden Ford. That is like your, your standard horse that we got. But we have the Inquisition Barter Charger. Hmm. With armor, I guess. We don't have anything of this yet. Arts. Oh, we have the Red Heart already. Awesome. That one actually looks really cool. Exotics. We have that Nug, right? We have a Bork Unicorn. Holy crap. Well, for now, let's choose our uh, Inquisition thing then, because I think this is the pre-order like bonus that you get. Oh, there it is. Oh, you can actually see it. Okay. So that looks that looks cool. What about this? Uh, we didn't have this yet. Wow! Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Looking all sweet. And the last one. Exotics. The Bork Unicorn. Ugh. Ah, oh, no. That's not really my cup of tea. That looks like the... The Harry Potter... I don't know how the things were called. Alrighty. We choose that mount. Now let's quickly have a look. That one's friendly. Can you improve equipment? Can you help improve my arms and armor? You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here. Right. Alright, so what does he have? Nothing for sale. Okay. Guess we have to upgrade everything ourselves. Oh, nice. Look at that. Okay. So, what about weapons? We have our staff. Do we have our staff? Here we go. Oh, it doesn't have anything. No upgrades available. Yeah, there is for this two-handed, but we don't have that. The Bane of Red Crossing. Okay, so nothing Another for weapons. Fire. What about armor? This is what we wear at the moment. 
but we have better armor in one level. So we can have either empty or add something. Spirit resistance or magic defense. Alright. No legs available. Alright. still doesn't really feel intuitive but I think it is time to go somewhere new what do you think all right so let's go back to the war table and before we enter there I will cut off the video so right in front of the door here again we are finally g continuing with the main missions. I think it's about time now after roughly 20 hours, I guess. Thank you so much for watching this episode where we remain. return to Haven after finishing our business in the Storm Coast so far. We caught up with our companions again, with Josephine, Cassandra, Liliana as well, our advisors. Um, not Cassandra, she's not an advisor. Colin is, but he didn't really have much to say. And in the next episode, we will finally continue by going to Val Royo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode to be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching, guys.